Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lesson, we will see how we can use different biological agents to solve different problems that arise in the environment instead of using different chemicals and physical agents. Obviously, as we talked in previous lectures as well, whenever we use traditional and conventional methods uh, by using chemicals and uh, physical means to solve different problems in the environment, though the problem is solved somehow, but there are so many side effects that are left on the environment itself. That's why we use, we try to use biotechnology and we try to use environmental biotechnology. So the most uh, important and most uh, wide example in this case is uh, in the case of uh, uh, using herbicides and pesticides uh, for the benefit of crops. We know there are different crops uh, which are uh, harmed by so many different insects, uh, pests and other such things. So to avoid these things, uh, farmers use different type of chemical agents, especially insecticides and herbicides. Though uh, the problem is solved, however, uh, these compounds, uh, they remain in the soil and uh, they can find their way in the food chain and many of these compounds have so many toxic side effects as well. So uh, these compounds have been used uh, for decades and uh, though their use is being uh, on the decline, however, they are still being used. The most important point uh, regarding environmental concern is that many of these compounds are persistent means they are much more stable and have long life. This means that if someone has used a pesticide on their crop, the crop has been a crop for that time, but the compound was still in the soil and it is very persistent and very stable, it is not being degraded, so it will be found in the soil. So, biotechnology की एक बहुत बड़ी application है, वो pesticides और insecticides में आती है. Now, as with any other technique and any other knowledge, you just cannot apply that technique right away. First, we have to understand that uh, field, that topic. We should have a, a sound knowledge of that topic and of that technique. Uh, only then, we should go for the application of that technique. Uh, same goes with the biotechnology. There are so many examples where the scientists try to apply the technique uh, right away and uh, they faced uh, not only failure but also disaster outcomes. One of uh, the biggest examples is in Australia they try to use can toad to control can beetle. So uh, it went uh, out of hands and uh, obviously uh, the case was a failure but uh, it also led to so many other circumstances as well. However, instead of so many failures that are faced in biotechnology, the scope is enormous still and uh, there are so many success stories as well. However, again, we should have a sound knowledge first and only then we should go for application. Now, uh, this is basically intervention by means of bio biology that we want to control certain things by using different biological agents. Uh, uh, why we want to do, do that? Because when we use biological agents, maybe whole living organisms, the side effects, uh, the toxic effects on the environment are much less. Uh, therefore, it is said that it is much more eco-friendly me uh, method to solve the environmental problems. One of the major concerns in uh, this regard is that we want to reduce the release of the chemicals or we want to uh, decrease the production of harmful animals, uh, harmful chemicals by different means of biotechnology. Now, one of the major limitations on the effective use of biocontrols is that these measures tend to act more slowly than direct chemical attacks. We know when we use chemical methods or associated physical methods, the result is uh, uh, very quick, very fast as compared to uh, the strategy using biological agents. It's been time lagta hai, time consuming hai, however, uh, the results are safe and sound as compared to the results of chemical uh, agents. Now, whenever we talk about some problem that has uh, 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 that, that is present in the environment, the only solution is not the biotechnology. There are so many other solutions as well and those should be applied as well provided they are safe uh, and they can be applied in combination with bio uh, biotechnological strategies as well. Uh, kind of a hybrid approach. Uh, so uh, we should not say that biotechnology is the only solution of such problems. 
However, we know it is one of the safest solutions. Now, uh, there are so many examples. For example, in case of pesticide, biological control methods can provide an effective way to mitigate pesticide use and thus the risk presented to the environment and to public health uh, is very much reduced. So, what is happening is that we are using agents in case of instead of pesticides and insecticides. Why uh, we use insect to kill chemical use, why don't we use some living organism that can kill that insect? एक और उसका फायदा क्या है कि ये जो हम बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स यूज करते हैं फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पसेस दे आर वेरी हाईली टारगेटेड इन ये सिर्फ अपने टारगेट को हिट करते हैं और किसी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म को एज सच नुकसान ही पहुंचाते अगर हम केमिकल्स को यूज करते हैं वो ना सिर्फ अपने टारगेट को भी किल करेंगे लेकिन उसके अलावा जो डिफरेंट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म्स हैं उनके लिए भी वो हार्मफुल साबित होंगे नाउ हाउएवर देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ स्कोप बट स्टिल uh, these biological applications, these demand much more precise uh, management and a sound knowledge of the application and technique so that the containment of the uh, biocontrols is there. If we are trying to introduce a biological agent to remove, to eliminate certain problem, we should make sure ke, uh, that biological agent remains only in that area and it is contained in that area. If it is spread to some other environments, some other ecosystems, uh, it may disturb those ecosystems. Now, um, again, as we said before as well, the success is dependent on thorough understanding of the life cycles of the organism involved. And therefore, it can be a much long, long project, long term project. When we use biological means ko use karna hai to solve certain problems, uh, it takes time. The subsidiary example quote ki jati hai again that is uh, to use uh, certain biological agents against certain insects that are harmful to certain crops. For example, yahan bataya ja raha hai, the global insecticide market is estimated to be around 10 billion dollars per year. So huge market is there. Uh, so you can see how much scope is there. Accordingly, much of the biological control currently in practice relates to this group of animals. बहुत सारे हम जो यूज करना चाह रहे हैं बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स वो ऑब्वियसली अगेंस्ट इंसेक्ट्स है बिकॉज़ मार्केट बहुत ज्यादा है दिस इज जस्ट वन एग्जांपल इन द अपकमिंग लेसंस वी विल सी मोर एग्जांपल्स हाउ वी कैन यूज डिफरेंट बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स इंसटेड ऑफ फिजिकल एंड केमिकल मींस टू सॉल्व सर्टेन प्रॉब्लम्स